Good morning. It is Thursday, June 24th, 2021. That's the way to start a morning. It only takes 15 more minutes. <sighs> Time to gather what I needed. Brew some coffee. I'm gonna try a little setup this morning uh, with these stools that spin. Different view, maybe the bush won't block us. My favorite time of day is the golden hour when the sun is going down and you've got long shadows. And like golden, that's why it's golden hour because everything's kind of glowing a little bit. Morning patches. How are you, sweetie? But I do really like getting up early in the morning. Um, and like, even when I was a young girl, and I, w I was a runner back in when I was young, I'd wake up early and just go for like a mile or two jog through the neighborhood. And it's just really peaceful. And I learned then that, you know, people are really um, happy in the morning. They haven't had anything happen to them that day. They're always very friendly and waving. Well, people around here are always friendly. That's the truth in Tennessee. It seems like morning's like a new fresh start. Found a couple things in the garden. Some cayenne peppers. My dad used to make hot shaky. Oh, here it comes. And a squash. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit this morning about a friend of mine because his family has been very, um, very encouraging to me, very supportive. He's a good teacher. He's funny. He's a good friend to everybody. And I, he was, you know how like I just wake up with something on my mind and he and his family were on my mind this morning, so shout out to Christian Kennedy. Um, 
Maybe I'll put some pictures in here if I can find them. First met Christian and his wife Angel and his amazing children that they have raised so well, Jaden and Faith. I first met them at, uh, at a cowboy church that I was attending and then became really good friends with his wife and a group of ladies that did a, a Bible study on you know, one evening a week. So really got to know them very well and they got to know me. And Christian was always kind of there, just in the, in the wings. And, and when we would have a Bible study, he would, he would add value to our conversation. Just, to, you know, a very uh, strong man of faith and uh, knowledgeable, but in a way that was very inviting. And it never made you feel like the questions that you had were dumb or anything like that. Like, um, so one of my girlfriends kept saying, you need to, you need to, you need to preach, you need to teach. Uh, when are you going to do that? And Christian just, he's like, I don't feel like I'm a preacher per se. It's not like he wants to spend all week putting together a sermon, but he really does a good job, I think, of inviting people to learn more about who God truly is. A couple examples. Well, first off, I was baptized in a horse trough uh, at the church where I met Christian, and he was the one. He was one who helped, you know, to, to baptize me. Uh, and I didn't really know him that well at the time. I have since since then. Uh, then I said, you know, we would do Bible studies at their home, and this is one of them that he really helped us to understand more about who God is and who, uh, like, God is so much more than just this ethereal man with the gray robe, or, you know, gray beard and robe up in heaven watching over us like I kind of was raised to believe. No, God, the Spirit of God is within you. He's the great I Am. You. He, is, he lives within you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So this book that, oh, it's called The God I Never Knew by Robert Morris. How Real Friendship with the Holy Spirit Can Change Your Life just gave me a greater understanding of what the Holy Spirit is and how he can guide you and counsel you and correct you and, um, yeah. And you have the power of God within you what else? So Christian has Melody Manor Ranch and his wife Angel. They, um, they welcome people, families, churches. They're not a church, but they're like a, a ministry that welcomes anybody to come and just be in nature and just learn and grow. They have supper and sings at their ranch. So they're all about building community and uh, building people up, you know, adding value to people, but like hope, healing, and restoration is their message. One time before I was driving to go to see my family out west uh, by myself, you know, Christian and Angel were, and their kids were in the kitchen, and they said, before you go, let's just pray for you, which was so different for me. The whole just prayer in general with other people is kind of a new thing since I've moved to Tennessee. And and just them kind of, you know, gathering around me and praying for me just yeah, meant a lot. There have been a couple of times when, when Christian has like, um, gently corrected me as I was dealing with uh, anxious thoughts or worry or fear uh, just, you know, speaking truth into me and getting my focus back on the tr like what's really going on. So I appreciate that, Christian. Hmm. He's funny. Um, yeah, and also, like, uh, I was really thrilled the other day when I went to Mule Town in the Round Songwriters Night in Columbia. Uh, not only his son, who's a videographer, was working. Well, he wa his son wasn't working that night, but uh, but Michael and Christian were behind the cameras, so and it was nice to see him do that. I know he's always had a lot of knowledge about just technology and videography and cameras and stuff like that, but I'd never really seen him do that till 
this past Thursday. So I am sitting here getting ready to edit this video and it occurred to me I forgot to tell you, Christian also has a, a, his job. He works for the Bridge Ministries in Nashville and in Chapel Hill they have food giveaways for the, uh, you know, if those in need. And so it's on Thursday nights once a month that a group of friends of ours, we get together and uh, we box up food and then uh, people come to Chapel Hill and we get to bless them with food and it's in return it's such a blessing uh, to us just to be able to do that. So thank you, Christian, for including us. It feels like family, you know, every time we get together. Yeah, just all around good people. Thank you, Father, for people that you have blessed me with. Also, I'm sitting here in my home remembering when I moved into my house I had a broken wrist and it was uh, his family, the Kennedys, um, you know, Tracy and her family, Deanie, Dina and her family, Cindy and her, like all my, the closest people in my life uh, who just stepped up and came and helped me move in. And I'm just really anyway, grateful for friends. Be the friend. I pray that you would have people in your life, and you probably do, just look around. Who are those people in your life who you can learn and grow from? And then start a conversation, ask questions, um, or maybe be that person for somebody. I was talking to a, a girlfriend this week, and I asked her, could you mind praying for us, pray for me? And she did, and she said afterwards, she said, that's not usually me, I'm not usually that person. But I think it, it felt right, it felt good. So maybe we're supposed to be that person to other people around us. Pray, trust, obey. Y'all have a good day. See you tomorrow.